Well, Gus, I know you're, how sad you were to hear this news earlier today. There'll be some viewers that got to watch John Sattler in action, some that know the name and some of the stories and some that tonight are, are wanting to hear all about someone they never got to see play. How would you best sum up the person and the player? Well, his, his name is iconic in the game of rugby league. He comes from one of those great eras back in the 60s, particularly South's greatest ever era. They went to five grand finals in a row. He captained them all. They won four of those grand finals. Uh, the legend of him playing with the broken jaw through that game uh, when he got, he got his jaw broken in the first few minutes. Uh, he was a young fellow born in Tellera, which is uh, up in Newcastle way, I think. And he, he didn't start playing rugby league until he was about 16. He played for Curry, And at a very young age, he was selected for Newcastle to play against the touring Great Britain side, who were a very tough side. And uh, the next year, South Sydney signed him up. He came down in 1963. 67, he was made captain. Um, he played a number of representative games. He played four times for New South Wales, four times for Queensland, and four times for Australia, three times as captain. Um, just a wonderful... This is the era that I fell in love with rugby league, is where I was a young kid in the 60s and first starting to watch the game. And uh, <laughs> the great South Sydney and, and St George uh, eras were just phenomenal, and that's where I fell in love with the game, and that's why I know the name of John Sattler so well. Thankfully, I got to play a year with South, and, and all of those legends have played at that club, and... Uh, I got to meet him on a number of occasions. On the field, they said he was unbelievably tough, none tougher and uncompromising. He was sent off 15 times in his career, <laughs> I must add. How 15, you get it, eh? He got sent off 15 times. He got suspended for 30 weeks. He'd have been out for life if he was playing today. <laughs> um, extremely tough man. But off the field, just um, one of the most kind, kind, thoughtful people you would ever meet. And always dapper, always well presented, always well dressed, always spoke very well, always supportive, always caring. Um, a wonderful, wonderful man and uh, so sad that he passes away today. Gus, I, I never got to see him play. Um, he didn't look, look like the biggest guy. Uh, what sort of player was he? We know he was tough. Yeah, he was, he was kind of like a... a he, he started out as a lock forward but moved into the front row. Uh, he had skills. He could pass the ball. He wasn't big. Um, he played with a big bloke called John O'Neill who was, uh, was much bigger than him, but he wasn't he wasn't big in stature, but he was big in heart, great leader. The story goes that when he broke his jaw uh, in the grand final, he was hit in the first three minutes by a bloke called John Buckley, and uh, he gets smashed, and uh, he goes down, but he gets back straight up, and he gets the other players around him. He said, don't let them show, don't let them show that I'm hurt. Don't let them show that I'm hurt. At half time, he said to them, if anyone... Because his teammates were trying to protect him. They were trying to take the runs rather than him, and they pushed him out of the way a couple of times. And at half time, he said, anyone does that again, he said, you're going to be in trouble. He said, just let me play. And he played the whole game with his broken jaw and became legendary, the, the stuff of legend. I spoke to Sam Burgess today, who obviously did some sort of similar things in there. It really impacted Sam. You could tell uh, he just got the news and uh, he was really upset by it. He was, um, it, was, it was something that he's taken to his heart. You could tell straight away. And I'm sure it's going to have a similar impact on the South Sydney players uh, in the lead-up to their game with, with Manly. Of course, he was a proud father too. His, his son, Scott, mm -hmm. um, played first-grade rugby league and had that famous moment in the, uh, the Panthers-Bulldogs grand final where he made that cover-defending tackle. And I think he too played with a broken jaw one day and, and finished a game uh, during his career too. So it was an extremely tough family. I really feel for that family and uh, for everyone in rugby league. He was such a great man, a really lovely man to be around. He really was one of those old-time greats. Gal, you prided yourself on your toughness. You talk about people leaving a legacy, uh, he certainly did that through through that era of rugby league. Oh, without doubt. I mean, i obviously not old enough to have been able to see him play and, and never had a lot to do with him at all. I, I've, I've spent my whole career at the Sharks, never had much to do with uh, the South Sydney side at all, but just his, his career is legendary. And as Gus just spoke about, everything uh, Gus said is obviously true about him. And what he went through in that grand final, I can't imagine. I've never had a broken jaw, don't ever want one. But uh, to play at, what, uh, 77 minutes with a broken jaw, mm. it's a pretty, pretty amazing feat. Uh, absolutely. Uh, of course, as you mentioned, Scotty Sattler, we, our thoughts go out to Scotty. He's a big part of the Wide World of Sports family uh, and the Sattler family uh, in general as well. Good.